St. Augustine's College has been eliminated from the quarterfinal stage of the 2023 National Science and Math Quiz. The contest, which took place at the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, saw the excitement of many Ghanaians, especially the students, teachers and old students of the school. At the school premises today, the teachers and students could not hide their joy as their boys had made it to the quarterfinals. There was so much excitement any time the boys answered the question correctly. Hello, welcome to Campus Rundown on TV UCC. My name is Nana Abokuma and I am at St. Augustine's College to interact with teachers and students of the school who are rooting for the success of their colleagues at the quarterfinals of the National Science and Math Quiz. This show promises to be exciting and interactive. Join me as I give you updates. Speaking to some prefects of the school before the contest, they expressed their full confidence in their colleagues who were representing the school at the contest. They confidently said they will win the quarterfinals and qualify for the next round of contest. I am from TV UCC and I am here to ask you about your mood concerning the contest so far. What's your general overview, your impression and then do you think your school will qualify to the next round of the contest? So let me start from the last aspect. Yes, I think we will qualify, no matter what, we are qualifying. We are getting there, we are going for the trophy. We are coming to Cape Coast with a trophy. And then for the first round, it's just like, we just being calm. For them to do their things, we'll come out at the last round and pick everything up. As I said, I don't know how we'll do that, but heaven knows we'll do that. Thank you. So we should expect nothing but the best from you. More than the best. More than. Well, honestly, I have the same exact mood as he does. I really do feel that we are here for the win. We are here for the trophy. This year is simply a year. There is absolutely no doubt in my mind that we are coming back with the trophy. We are coming back with an excellent, elated, jubilated feeling in our hearts, in our minds and in our souls. But looking at the contest so far, how, will, how would that be possible? It's simply a matter of time. Our boys tend to start slow, but then they start to gradually gain some sort of momentum, and this momentum carries them onto the final end. It's the same thing that occurred in the last round, in the last contest, and it's going to happen this time. It is clear, and it is certain. Okay, the very first round has been very, very, very competitive. Honestly, I didn't expect that. But St. Augustine's College, being one of the best colleges in Cape Coast, is obviously going to pull through. And so far, it looks like the boys are a bit down, they're a bit slow. How do you also think that will be possible? Honestly, with all our contests, it always starts like this, down, calm. But and when you proceed into the subsequent rounds, that's when the morale comes up. And I know that finally, in the final round, we are going to carry the day. So you are all positive your boys will qualify to the next round? Absolutely. Very, very, very positive. Very sure. Okay. Looking at the contest so far, it looks like since our guests, we are not really seeing you well. <laughs> oh, please, this is only the second round. There are five rounds, you know, so you just relax for us. Yeah, it has to do with relaxation because comparing it to last Thursday's competition, we could see that from the start, it looks like it looked like things were going on very well, but in the end, we had it too. You are just expecting the best. So what should we expect from St. Augustine's College? Oh, please expect the very best because we prepared adequately. Nothing but the best, madam. Thank you very much. After the contest, Keita SHS emerged victorious over Augusto and Tamale SHS, thus disqualifying Augusto for the next contest. It was a sad sight at St. Augustine's College as the boys were so unhappy. Some even left the assembly hall before the contest ended. Speaking to the prefects after the contest, they expressed their disappointment over the results of the contest and promised to come back stronger next year. So this is the end of um, the contest for St. Augustine's College. How is the feeling so far? You were all happy when I interviewed you at first. So what happened? You look so down. Well, we came in with confidence and unfortunately, we are devastated at the fact that we lost this contest. But we are still proud of our boys. They give up their very best. But for this time around, their best wasn't enough for the trophy. Reporting for TV UCC, my name is Gladmond Inshua Innocent.